This is a quick update about my concerns on the things that are going on on YouTube lately. YouTube seems not liking chemistry related channel in general, but uh, the situation has become a lot harsher in the last couple of weeks. One of the biggest experimental chemistry channel, Nourish, has been having the issue with his subs not being notified for his new videos. Last week, the video he uploaded about the vacuum distillation of sulfuric acid was not notified by any of his subs. No other video appeared on their subscription feed. The problem was fixed later on. But such a thing happened to a big channel with over a half million subs is not a good sign, as YouTube cares much less about smaller channels. In my description list, there are a number of great chemistry channels, and a lot of them are currently undergoing the censorship from YouTube. Many of their videos were demonetized or removed. Even the whole channel got determinated. One of my favorite EM chemistry channel, Explosion of Fire, suddenly got three strikes within a couple of days this week. If you go to his channel page, you will see something like this. Most ridiculously, the third strike was on a private video from five years ago. The same thing also happened to Donier 335A. He has been having problems with YouTube for a long time, and uh, the worst thing has finally happened this week. Myself is undergoing the similar situation as well. I received a strike on my Mercury Ferminate video several weeks ago, and it still hasn't wear off. I have to put many of my videos on private for now, and this is very annoying. I have finished the project on the synthesis of nitroglycerin, but uh, with those shit going on YouTube right now, there is no way I upload the video without it being taken down within a couple of weeks. Those persecutions are not just towards EM video in particular. About three weeks ago, one of Camplay's video on the preparation of methylamine hydrochloride was removed by YouTube. It was a totally harmless video. Even the backyard scientist has one of his old videos removed by YouTube. It seems like any of us can just get wiped out by YouTube out of surprise. That's why many of us have Twitter account and backup channels. In case if we do get vanished one day, you can still find us somewhere. I will link my Twitter account in the description below.